Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about GitHub Copilot. So I just got access to, this is still in the technical preview as you can see here, um, but I got access. I'm a little late. I know a lot of people have checked this out already. So I wanted to go through this and kind of just give my uh, initial thoughts on what it was like. I haven't used it yet, so this is going to be fresh uh, and just show you kind of how it works, I guess, or I guess we'll learn together and uh, yeah, show you, give you my, uh, my opinions on all this. All right, so I have just a React app here, a very basic create React app. Uh, I haven't touched it at all. Um, so let's just run yarn uh, start like this, get a server going. And then once that's there, we can uh, close this up. All right, so that just pops up our server over here. Uh, we don't need to look at this at the second, but uh, we'll see that in a minute. So let's check this out. So we're in our uh, source folder here. Uh, we're going to come in and just do some work in this app.js. So this is very basic. We'll do everything in here. Uh, I have the extension installed already, so uh, no need to do that. So I'm just going to come down and kind of clear out some of this uh, so we have some room to work. So uh, GitHub Copilot. So there's a few things I think you can do just looking over some of the docs and stuff. Uh, you can either write comments uh, to see if it'll uh, write the code for you uh, itself. Uh, or you can uh, use it just like a regular sort of autocomplete type thing. So let's start. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Let's create uh, like a basic counter or something that uh, you might have seen a million times in uh, React. So let's say we come into our function here. So we can come in and we can say const like this. And you can see right away it gives us this count and set count. Uh, I think that's because uh, I was typed that in before maybe or I've used similar things in the past. Uh, anyways, that's what it gives us in order to just use this because this is what we want. We can just say uh, tab like that and that'll auto complete it for us. Uh, and you can see uh, it, we don't have use state yet. So let's uh, come back up here and import that. See if it does it for us. And we can say that's what we want. React and use state again. So that's pretty good. Uh, then we can come down here uh, and actually, I guess we need a couple functions like an increment and decrement. So let's come down below here and we can say uh, function and we can say it already does it for us, I guess from the count and set count. So we can tab there and it'll tab the whole thing in. Now, I think because this trains on GitHub, there's probably a million iterations of count and set count and all that. So it's gonna know kind of exactly what you want because it's used so often. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, and then I guess we want to come down and say function and we'll say uh, decrement and it already does it like that for us. And we can tab that. You see it doesn't finish that off, but if we come down again, it shows uh, the curly base brace uh, finishing off there and we can tab that. So now we have an increment and decrement. Uh, so we we'll want to come down into our um, uh, markup right here and we're going to have uh, a couple buttons. Uh, we, let's just add the count in here. It's going to do that for us. Oh, and then we automatically get uh, the button on click and the increment button. Oh, and it gives us a little plus, so we could change that if we want. But for us, that is fine. So that's the decrement. We can go like that and it'll give us a little minus. So we can save all of this. And then if we check out our uh, buttons right here, let's uh, bump this up a little bit. We have our zero. We can go plus here and we can have minus here. So that is basically an increment and a decrement uh, counter, uh, basically completely auto-completed. Now that's kind of cool, um, but I imagine there's a lot more we can do with that. Uh, I think one of the best things about this looks to be that'll just kind of save you time. Obviously you could look up from Stack Overflow how to do any of this uh, if you didn't know how, but uh, it seems like it would save you kind of a ton of different time, uh, a ton of time. And obviously if you're doing something super complex where it's very novel and people haven't done it, this uh, won't be um, overly effective, I imagine, because there won't be examples to be trained on. But uh, anyways, so what else will we do with React? Because this is kind of cool so far, but let's check out uh, some other things. Oh, actually let's try the comment thing. So uh, we can do a comment here. And we can say, well, let's say, let's uh, create, oh, so that comes up for us. What happens if we come through and actually uh, do enter? All right, so if you create the comment there and then uh, hit enter onto the next line, and then you can tab through these uh, different steps. So you tab there once, hit enter again. You can tab again, take that, tab again, like that. So that is uh, pretty cool. 
but since we already have this increment here, we don't need any of this. So let's get rid of this and let's uh, come back up and just get rid of this. Okay, let's do something different here. Uh, one of the things we might need to do here is to uh, hit an API. So let's do a comment again. Uh, and you can see stuff just pops up, uh, handle click right there. So let's hit an API right now. Actually, first, let's just see, let's create uh, some data. So create an array uh, with uh, a, a list of, let's say 10 names or something. So we want a list of 10 names, we hit enter and a list of 10 names pops up. So that is pretty cool. Um, and I imagine these are different every time you do it. Let's uh, try and do this again. Go back up and see if it does the same names. I think those are different. Uh, maybe those are the same. Can we hover over this? Oh, if we hover over this, uh, we can open Copilot right here. Uh, and then it's gonna come up with uh, a bunch of different options. And then we can select any of these. So this is pretty cool also. So you can get your, uh, just your names here. You can get uh, an array of um, names with IDs. Uh, sorry, an array of objects of IDs and names. That's pretty cool. Uh, all these different things and it comes uh, so you can just select any of these so we'll just stay here select uh, there's so even though this is only five names uh, that is fine uh, so that is pretty neat if you want to just have uh, fake data or whatever oh this popped in here oh all these popped in good lord a lot of stuff just popped in there I don't know what I did but let's get rid of that okay so we'll come back in, down and we'll just say that is good and we'll save that for now. Okay, so that is cool. Now let's uh, fetch some data right now. So I've used this JSON placeholder type, uh, dot type eco dot com before. All right, so let's try this where we are going to create a function to fetch, uh, uh, let's say users from, and we'll say HTTP, HTTP and it gives us a URL which JSON placeholder which we've used before so we can tab that uh, and store uh, users in state let's see what that does for us so we have const fetch user so it's going to create the function for us we can say yep we want that and that's going to fetch them using uh, fetch come down and then use a dot then and response dot JSON good and then uh, set the users uh, the data into set users as data so that's great and then it's going to close off so that is basically everything uh, that we need to do again there's no set users yet so we could come up to our state here and say const and we can go set users interesting that it doesn't set this for us or users rather and set oh there it goes so maybe it just takes a second there so that'll take care of our uh, set users that we needed down here. So we got our fetch users here um, and it's going to set them into state. So now let's, we're going to need a use effect here. So let's say, let's see if it'll do this for us. So we'll say import use effect to run fetch. Whoa, that just came up and components run. Let's uh, just go with that. I spelled import wrong. Let's see if that has any effect. So use effect, good. And let's come down. Fetch users, it's gonna call that. And it does literally everything I think I would do there. So it's gonna fetch them just on initial load, which again is these uh, empty, this empty array here. Now it's not bringing this in, so let's come up and bring this in and we'll just say uh, use effect uh, like that. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. It's gonna import them and fetch them. So let's just uh, come down here and just set all our users. We'll set them below these buttons here. Here, and we'll just go and we'll say map through the, so it's kind of what we want, but we'll say users.map like this. And we'll say user. And that's kind of what we want. So we'll key, uh, tab that and then go ahead and save that. So we're gonna map over these users, take an individual user that's setting a key and everything on the LI, and then it's gonna uh, print out this uh, user.name to the screen there. So that looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good anyway. So kind of very similar to uh, what I would have done, but just saved me kind of a lot of time. So let's come over. All right, so this is our list printed to the screen of these different users. 
So that is pretty dang cool, I gotta say. Um, it's not really anything revolutionary in terms of unique content, but it, uh, it just seems like it would save you a ton of different time. Like all this stuff was just basically hitting tab, giving a little bit of instructions and then hitting tab and enter. I'm excited about this, looking forward to diving kind of deeper into this. But uh, my first initial thoughts are this is uh, pretty neat and will speed up hopefully my workflow uh, quite a bit. But um, yeah, it's kind of like, a, yeah, it's autocomplete on steroids, I guess, is kind of how I describe it. And it is, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm gonna be looking into this a lot more, um, maybe more videos on this, but uh, we'll see what we can do. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.